So this is from a currency point of view. But you want to talk about it from other point of view, especially when it comes to oil in particular. Oil has been priced in dollar, is being priced in dollar, and for the future, in our, in our lifetime, will remain priced in dollar. And here we have to distinguish between pricing oil in dollar and getting revenues in non-dollar. These are two different things. So oil is priced in dollar, but you want to get euro, you want to get uh, yuan, you want to get uh, uh, yen, whatever, Saudi Riyal or UAE Dirham, whatever. You can. There is no problem with that. Even you can get gold, you want to get Bitcoin or whatever. You can get it. But the pricing is still in dollar. And the pricing will remain in dollar regardless of anything else, simply because the U.S. is the largest oil producer in the world, a major exporter of oil. I mean, we are, we are exporting 5 million barrels a day. So this is next to Saudi Arabia and, and Russia. So, uh, so the, as long as the United States of America, the largest producer or one of the largest producers, one of the largest exporters in the world, where it has the largest market, uh, the largest consumer, and it has the uh, uh, NYMEX and the, uh, all the uh, markets in the United States and Europe, etc. it will remain priced in dollar. Now, someone might say, hold on just a second, Anas. Oil in Shanghai is priced in yuan. It, it is priced in the renminbi. So how do you say it's in dollar? Not, uh, well, I've did the work. And... Uh, the, the MEC, uh, CME basically did the work too, and our results match. If you look at the prices in Shanghai and Yuan, they are a mirror image of the dollar pricing in the market of Dubai if you give it the time period difference and the quality difference. What that tells you is that the pricing is still in dollar. This is just kind of a... Uh, 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 a layer above it just to to show you that it is really in yuan but you adjust for exchange rates and the time and the quality and it's exactly the same price so pricing is still in dollar but governments or companies can ask for non-dollars in revenues now you look around the world and you find out who is doing this who is asking to get revenues in non-dollar they are all embargoed countries so from a pure academic point of view, here is the question. Do we have evidence to show that countries voluntarily shy away from the dollar? We don't have that evidence yet. And this brings us to the story that was published, uh, uh, what, about a few months ago. They said that the, since the, the Chinese premier is going to visit Saudi Arabia in the next few hours, I'm bringing this up. There was a story basically that said that the Saudis are, are going to switch their sales to China to Yuan. And I went on Twitter immediately and I said, discount this story. Don't worry about it. Ignore it. This is just not a story. And the reason why is very simple. Why the Saudis would do that? So, well, they are bad at the Biden administration and this and this and this and this. Well, look, the Saudi real is back to the dollar. If they want to nail the dollar and they were successful, they nailed their own currency. That does not make sense. So that's number one. All their system is a dollar system. They will nail their system. That does not make sense. And the trade in yuan for their oil is between $40 billion to $50 billion a year. The oil trade this year is about $1.5 trillion. So the impact is minimal even if they want to do it. And they did not do it. It's not in their interest to do it. And who is stupid enough to get rid of the dollar when the dollar is going up and other currencies are going down? So the whole story basically was kind of made up or someone was making fun of a journalist or something. I don't know what, how it came about, but it did not make sense at all. So I hope I explained uh, uh, this in, in various facets so it will be easy to understand. Back to yes, you. It's, it's 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 very clear. Um, I just like it's, a, it's give or take, and I mean, eventually we'll we'll see in ten, twenty years. But what you said is bedrock solid. 
um, it's just uh, keep thinking this intention by the SEO, China, Russia, India, all these countries to shy away from dollar in their energy trade and setting up this gas cartel. It's all interconnected and it's still Africa we have to look into because although Russia is a sanctioned country, it's the biggest sanctioned country and it's like an elephant in the room. And if they're uh, moving towards this non-dollar uh, trade in local currencies for commodities, um, and they're the leading one of the leading oil producers. Doesn't that take away market share from the dollar? I mean, yes, I, I, you are right because I said that the influence goes from let's say eighty percent to seventy percent, but still seventy percent. But let me give you uh, uh, an example on the power of the dollar. Now, the Iranians consider, and I'm talking about the mullahs here. They consider the United States of America as the, the big Satan, the, the, you know, the big devil. And they consider the currency of the dollar basically the currency of the devil. Now, when they sell their products in the market and you sit down with them and you have their representatives and tell them, OK, I have Bitcoin here, I have gold, I have dollar, I have euro, I have yuan, pick up whatever currency, I'll give it to you. Guess which one they are going to use? The dollar. Go to any mafia or any gang and tell them what do you want to use. They will tell you they want to use the dollar. Some of the mafia and some of the gang basically pick up the, the euro because of the geographic proximity. Otherwise, the dollar, even in the black market, is the dominant one. So the idea of the demise of the dollar uh, is is highly exaggerated. And you want to talk about the demise of the dollar? Uh, think about uh, how the U.S. basically just withdraw from the whole stage of the world and just become an island. It just happened a big island. Then we start talking about the demise of the dollar. Back to you. 